Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paige, welcome. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about the dangers of a certain family of antibiotics, specifically Cipro. I've had a battle with Cipro. And I know multiple people who are hypermobile and have had issues with Cipro. So let's get into why Cipro is so dangerous and why it should have never ever been given to me. If you're more curious about my full story about how I got diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I will link that video above. I will also link the video on how I manage my symptoms in case you're curious about that. So yeah, check those videos out. starts about one year ago, almost one year ago, right before I was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I had a kidney infection that was brutal and I was given Cipro for the kidney infection. The antibiotics that they gave me, Cipro, ruined me way harder than the infection was ruining me. I just, I felt so, so miserable during this time. So further research tells me to stay away. Stay away from this family of antibiotics. Stay away from Cipro. Unless it's a last resort, Cipro should not be given to, to me or to anyone who has similar issues as me. Please, please, please research any time that you were given new medication that you've never taken before because you're not sure how you're going to react to it. So make sure you do your research. Cipro is in the family of antibiotics called fluoroquinolone. And I hope I'm saying that right, but this family of antibiotics is very dangerous. Here are some of the risks. Tendinitis, tendon rupture, and I already have issues with my tendons, so this is scary change in sensation or nerve damage, hypoglycemia. So Cipro can lower your blood sugar. So please, please be careful of this, especially if you're diabetic. Disturbances in mental abilities. I mean, in a nutshell, these are just debilitating and potentially permanent, serious side effects that can occur all together at the same time and put you in a coma or kill you. Like it's, it's bad. And I, I want to go through the FDA warnings that have been put on Cipro since 2016. Just a couple little things in there. I'll, I'll bring it up on the screen, but it's, it's pretty scary. So let's get into that. Okay, so this first screenshot that I'm going to show you guys says FDA drug safety communication. FDA advises restricting fluoroquinolone antibiotic use for certain uncomplicated infections. Warn, warns about disabling side effects that can occur together. So that's where I got that information from. And in this article, it says that the side effects can involve the tendons, muscles, joints, nerves, and central nervous system. I already have issues with all five of these things. I already have issues with all five of these things. So this probably should never have been given to me. Even though I don't think I have a type of EDS that would make this an issue, they didn't know what was wrong with me at the time if I had um, EDS and they didn't know what type, they shouldn't have given this to me as well. But yeah, if you have Marfan syndrome or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, it tells you to be careful because it can call, cause hypertension and FDA adds black box warning to, okay, yeah. So this is the black box warning. Um, they're talking about the risks of mental health and low blood sugar adverse reactions. 
So this is the one talking about it can lower your blood sugar and cause, yeah, and cause hypoglycemia. And in this black box warning, it does talk about the potential for irreversible peripheral neuropathy. And that's scary. And I feel like that's kind of what's happened to me and why I am having nerve issues because it got, I don't know. I think that I had nerve issues before I got put onto Cipro, but the Cipro made my nerve issues so much worse. I, I seriously just felt like if someone touched me, just touched my arm, it felt like I was getting socked, punched in the arm. Just, it, it hurts. And I can't, I, that's the best way that I can explain that. So yeah, those are my warnings to you about Cipro and other antibiotics like Cipro. Please be careful about the antibiotics that you're taking and please read the FDA warnings. They are there for a reason. People like you have probably had similar experiences. So please be careful. So how did Cipro bring out my diagnosis? Why, why should I have never been given Cipro? The answer is clear here. It brought out all of my symptoms. It made my gastroparesis worse. It made my POTS worse because it, it messed with my nervous system. It made my joint pain worse. So everything's acting up and you can finally see that there's something clearly wrong with me, but it's, it's pretty much what's been wrong with me my whole life just intensified. So uh, it was, it was miserable, but I'm so glad that it led me to my diagnosis. However, because these FDA warnings say to never give this to someone with MS or EDS or people with RA, like they should have never given it to me because I've been complaining about all these things for so long. They should have never given me Cipro. It should have been a last resort for me and it wasn't. And it, it took about eight months to recover from this whole ordeal. So I feel like I'm still recovering in some ways. It's just, it's crazy. It, it contributed to my weight loss. It contributed to my loss of movement abilities, if that's a word. <laughs> but yeah, Cipro took a lot away from me. So just be super careful when you're given a new medication because you really just never know how your body is going to react. And I react pretty scary to some medicines. Like I get, I, I'm allergic to a lot of medications. So just, just be super careful and only take one new medication at a time. That's, that's something that I'd like to add. Oh, and if you are taking an antibiotic, please take a probiotic with it. Please. It will, it will help your stomach so much. Antibiotics hurt my stomach. So let me show you the probiotic that I take. This is the probiotic that I take. It's from Claire Labs. It's the Thurbiotic Complete. And I keep it in the refrigerator to keep it nice and ready to go. Keep all the bacteria cold. So yeah, I keep this in a little fridge by my bed and I take it especially when I'm on antibiotics, but I try to take it every day. I did want to mention how I recovered from all this damage of Cipro. Not that I fully recovered, but I'm on medication. I'm on supplements. I have daily exercises and I do my best. That is all that I can tell you. My recovery has been so long and I feel like the baby steps have been so small, but we're finally to a place where I'm moving around. I can go coach a cheer practice and that makes me so happy. So yeah. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I hope that you guys have a great week. If you liked this video, if you like me, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and check out some of my other videos down in the description box. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.